What is better, Maya or Blender? Let's find out. What is Maya? One of the leading programs in the 3D modeling industry is Maya, developed by Autodesk. Maya offers a wide range of tools for animation, simulation, and modeling. You can also use it for motion graphics, virtual reality, UV maps, low poly, and character creation. This 3D software is very popular in the video game industry. It allows for the development of highly detailed and realistic characters and environments thanks to a variety of texturing options. What is Blender? Blender is a free and open source 3D application from the Blender Foundation. It has excellent tools for modeling, rigging, rendering, animation, simulation, motion tracking, and some game and video creation options. You can also use it for low poly and UV maps. To customize the 3D software, they also offer advanced options for editing Python scripts. Blender is available for Linux, Windows, and Macintosh devices. Blender is a community-driven program and offers numerous support forms and tutorials. The goal of the Blender Foundation is to involve users in the development of the software, enabling faster bug fixes, the development of new features, and improved user-friendliness. Blender versus Maya. What are the differences? Now that you know a bit about the two 3D programs, let's see how they compare. They seem to have similar tools, but there are still many different aspects to consider, such as cost, user interface, and who the programs are intended for. Take a look at the comparison and find out which 3D application better suits your needs. User interface. Maya is complex and highly customizable for professionals. Blender is streamlined, user-friendly and open source. Modeling and sculpting. Maya impresses with precision in complex models and robust tools. Blender with excellent organic modeling and sculpting. Texturing and materials. Maya has high-end texturing capabilities and precise control. Blender offers node-based material editing and procedural texturing. Animation and rigging. Maya is the industry standard and offers intricate control while Blender has user-friendly and intuitive tools for rigging, rendering, and lighting. Maya has a powerful integration with Arnold and offers photorealistic rendering. Blender impresses with fast, real-time rendering with EV Next and a photorealistic, physically-based cycles renderer. Game Engine Compatibility. Maya offers a strong integration with Unreal Engine and Unity. Blender relies on flexible, community-driven compatibility tools. Overall use. Maya is preferred for high detail and complex productions. Blender is ideal for dynamic, creative explorations and rapid prototyping. What is easier to learn, Maya or Blender? Let's talk about the learning curve of these two efficient and powerful programs. Both Maya and Blender have steep learning curves. Over the years, Blender has made efforts to become somewhat more intuitive, but in some aspects, Maya might be more expressive. Both programs have large communities with good support sections and learning tutorials. However, Blender's online community is much stronger and more helpful than Maya's. This software can count on a large community of hobbyists, and newcomers are more likely to find answers to their questions online, as many people have taught themselves how to use this software. Cost and target audience. When it comes to cost, Blender wins in our software battle. Blender is open source and freely licensed, and it is also part of the GNU General Public License, GPL, or free software. Maya, on the other hand, costs almost 2,000 euros per year, or 2,800 euros per year for the 3D package. Maya plus media and entertainment collection, including 3Ds, Max and Arnold. As a student, you can get a free version of Maya. As for the target audience, there is no clear winner. It simply depends on what your needs are. Given the price and community support, Maya is recommended for large companies and studios. They can afford the 3D software and really need advanced tools. Blender is a great solution for small studios, freelancers, and hobbyists. Since it is free software, it is very powerful and can be highly beneficial for smaller companies. If you are just starting with 3D modeling, Blender might be the better choice initially. However, you should keep in mind why you are interested in 3D software. If you are aiming for a professional career in the video game industry, Maya is a better investment. Maya is more widespread. Just Google 3D designer job and you will see that Maya is very popular. However, 2,000 euros per year is a lot of money. Which software should you choose? 
Honestly, it all depends on what you need the software for. If you are more of a hobbyist, a student, or work in a small studio, Blender is very advantageous for you since it is free and offers a variety of tools for different applications. If you want to stay in the fields of games and special effects and work in large companies, Maya is the industry standard for 3D modeling.